in this particular video, uh, what I want to do is is take a look at some misconceptions and some issues some people have in regards to talking about vectors. So when we talk about vectors, this is titled which way, I could have a vector and say it's 5 meters um, at 30 degrees. And our problem becomes, well, how do you reference the 30 degrees part? What's, what's the 30 degrees in reference to? So, uh, for instance, is this the 30 degrees right here? Give me a second here. That 30 degrees? Or is this the 30 degrees? Or is this the 30 degrees? Or is this the 30 degrees? So, in order to properly do our vectors properly and be able to talk about them, and so everybody knows what's going on, we have to have a standard way of discussing angle and direction. So one standard way is this over here is always zero degrees. And up here at the top is always 90 degrees. And this over here is 180 degrees. And this down here would be 270 degrees, etc. And that's all well and good until you start needing to reference an angle like that right there because your calculator when you calculate it will give you the acute angle and not this whole big angle right here so then you got to do some uh, you know complementary and supplementary angles and, and do it extra so an alternate way to take a look at that um, that we use in our class here at Milton Union is a standard north south east west um, so when we talk about that I'm just going to erase this for some simplicity sake right here. We're just going to, by definition, say that this direction to the right is east, and we got north to the top, and south down here, and west over here. And so when we're talking about a particular angle, and I'm just going to start in one particular spot, um, I'm going to fix the thickness on this because it's writing a little bit too thick for my personal preferences here. When we're talking about those angles, let's just take this one right here in reference. What What is that one? Well, I say, well, look at the cardinal direction that your arc is touching. So I'm touching the easterly direction right here. Which direction do I have to turn in order to go along this purple dotted vector? Well, I need to turn to the north. So this particular angle right here is north of east. Now what about this angle right here? Well we're facing north and I have to turn to the east so this would be called east of north. What about this angle right here? Well again we're facing the north direction on this one because that's what direction my arc is hitting. And which direction do I have to turn? Well, I have to turn to the west. So this is west of north. What about the angle here? Well, I'm touching the westerly, and I have to turn from going west to the north. So this is north of west. What about this angle right here? Well, again, I'm touching the westerly direction, and I have to turn to the south. So this is south of west west. What about this direction here? Well, this time I'm facing in the southerly direction and I have to turn to the west. So this is west of south. And it goes around similarly like that. This right here facing south, turning to the east. So this is east of south. And our last one right in here. I'm facing east. I have to turn to the south, south of east. So when you're doing problems and calculations, you might be in a group and you calculate. Give me a second here. I'm going to edit some of this stuff out of here. We're just going to get rid of all of this stuff here. You might be in a group and you guys are calculating and you want to compare some answers, but your group gets this angle right here and you say well this is 60 degrees and this would be north of east. Another group might be working the same problem and they're going to report that their angle is 30 degrees this is going to be east of north. 
Notice how these two are the exact same answer. You're going to get the same thing. You just might have it going in a different direction. And a lot of students have a hard time realizing when they're doing these calculations um, that these two things are identical. And so just be aware of that when you're solving these notations. They're, they are identical, and you just need to, to learn to see them that way. Uh, if you have any questions, you can address it in class. Thank you for your time.